Hello everyone, welcome to Fiora today. So, I did some videos on this game when it was first released back in December for Early Access. Now they have released the full combat revamp as well as a new soundtrack. The music track is awesome. The full combat revamp in order to experience the whole thing would require us to have more than just me playing. Um, I haven't found a game with multiple people tonight because it's like 2 in the morning. For those who don't know, Ruby is a shell-shaded anime made in the United States and published by Rooster Teeth. While it does have some of the comedy that you can come to expect from Rooster Teeth, you know, it's actually genuinely funny. Um, although somewhat stupid at times, it is still genuinely funny. This is more intelligent type of funny. It is still a very, it still treats itself as a serious anime the entire time. And it's good. I mean, I'm just going to be honest, it's one of the better animes I've seen in a while. Um, it's also something that's kind of stuck with me as far as, you know, remembering the anime itself. And this combat revamp, as you can see, has stuns in it now, which is what the symbol above those two guys' heads are. And there's more than just attack and... Uh... <laughs> Light. There's more than just regular attacks. You have light attacks, you have heavy attacks, you have combo attacks. Which is why I'm performing different moves every time I engage these guys as I'm alternating the heavy and light attack. That was a different move. Um, the entire leveling system has been revamped. And the game is generally better for it. There's also a counter for the enemy heavy attacks now. Get you stunned with my shotgun gauntlets. Yes, I said shotgun gauntlets. If I can set somebody up to, a count to show a counter. Oh no, I need them to actually be close to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's, oh, that's too far. Okay, I'm gonna dodge! Ow. Ow. Shoot. Okay, now normally, also, if you're not leveled up, you're, when your aura drops, it only takes one hit to knock you out now instead of multiple. Let's stun him. There's the counter. And it's devastating. You stun them, and it's just ending them and it, 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 to set it up on purpose takes a little bit but for it just to naturally occur i find is much more frequent die than uh anything else uh there have also apparently been a couple new enemies added there haven't been any new levels added to the game yet which is why i'm kind of showing you the first level end sequence which is where you're fighting waves upon waves of enemies there's also the attempt to include a horde mode coming soon. So the game has started to expand beyond the scope of its original design. I am for this, though there is the occasional graphical glitch of the frame freezing up because of how much is happening on screen. Game still needs a little optimization work, but I'm pretty happy with that. There's also this, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a feature, but sometimes the enemy doesn't spawn unless you go close enough to them during these wave sequences. So you have to run around the room a little bit right now. Come on down. Come and get me. Uppercut. Have a shotgun and kill. I said kill. You're dead now. Good. Stay dead. But this is the basic mechanics of the game. There's also been team attacks added, which is something I wanted to show, but I couldn't get a game this late at night of uh, more than just me. It's a fun game to play with friends, I will say that, and because it also is based on the show, but it's not based on the show in the sense that you're playing through adventures they've already done, you're playing through what effectively is the story between seasons one and two, and later between seasons two and three, that's the intention. So you're playing a whole nother story to the show at to the show. So if you're a fan of the show, which if you haven't experienced it, it's free. You just have to go to roosterteeth.com forward slash ruby and it's completely free. To, it's completely free to watch the show. Um, members of the Rooster Teeth audience get the shows a week in advance. 
It, I think it's still between seasons because I think season three just ended. Oh shit, this is a boss! Did not realize that! I'm sorry! My mistake! I'll have to use the counter system if I want to hit him. Ooh! Couldn't tell what happened there. But I can defeat him. Oh, that's the device placed on it. Cool. I'm glad I did a good job! Now, the game still technically ends at after the first three levels. Um, there's nothing beyond that point right now. Um, and the game is still a lot more enjoyable to play with friends, especially since I haven't seen any of this team attack stuff. I would love to see it! Uh, supposedly the single player mode is also going to add AI bots that you can do team attacks and stuff with if you wanted to play single player, but right now that's non-existent. Also, you now have this new cool dodge ability, which does add in that when you're flashing is in vulnerability frames. I don't know if I actually showed that off or not. Oh, hello! This video might have just got extended. Let's go! You coming? Please tell me you're coming. Please, I, 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 I kind of want to play a little bit more. Come on, please move. Move. Don't tell me you're you don't tell me you're a hunting packer. Oh god, it's a hunting packer. Now, the secrets are in set places, so now that I've learned them since the last time I played, I'm of course going to go get them for the free extra XP and therefore the extra levels. It's actually a challenge to get to level 10 before the end of this chapter that we currently have unlocked. It is a significant challenge, and for those who know the show, the artifacts being chess pieces is a reference to the show. Um, again... Also, the voice actors from the show, I forgot to mention this. I got it, I was about to end the video, I forgot to mention this. The voice actors from the show have lent their voice talent to the game. I think that's awesome. Um, I hope they have been well paid for that. I would be deeply upset if they're not being well paid for that rooster teeth. Because it's a lot of work to come in and do voice acting for a video game that may or may not ever achieve anything. The show's been successful. The, the anime has been successful. Um, but I really hope that they are paying the voice actors incredibly well. Eat it. See the uh, combat is much more fast-paced and and more dynamic now. Before these boars were incredibly hard to beat, just because of how much time it took to beat them. Ow! Have a stun. Oh nope! I can take a hit. I'll be fine. Like I said, I'll be fine. I can take a hit. They keep wanting to hit spacebar for my dodge. And the controls are a bit wonky if you're not on an actual, like, control pad. I will admit that. Um, but this is fun to me. It's a little mindless at times, but it is fun to me. I mean, these are some of my favorite anime characters that I'm getting just to go around and beat the crap out of their enemies with. Enemies being referred to as these monstrous grim creatures. We have charge attacks now? I didn't even know that. I'm glad we kept playing for a little bit longer. I'm finding more stuff. Um, I read the entire combat revision package, but I really feel like if you had some voice communication, you could coordinate and get team attacks off much better. And you could have stuff like secrets easier to discover. But we don't. 
Or you could tell somebody, hey, I'm going to go get a secret. And it's just nice to be able to play, you know, a decent game based on a TV show. This is a rarity, okay? People have to understand, this is a rare thing for us gamers to play something based on a TV show and it not be a total disaster. Is it a great, awesome, amazing game that you'll play for hours on end? No. Most, I, I think I've only put five or six hours in myself. Um, and that's beca only because I haven't actually had the chance to play through the story and I don't have a lot of friends who play it. I would consider doing a fan play and buying people a copy of the game if they were interested and going to actually make the dedication to show up. But that would require, you know, a dedication by you guys to say, hey, if you do a fan play of this, I will show up. And I think I only have that from one person right now. And a four person playthrough of this. Ooh, that thing hits. I like it. To me, it would just be amazing. Huh? Boom! You don't hit her in the back. You get stunned. And I have two rubies with me. Apparently, I'm the re weird person who plays Yang. And murders everything in my path. Or something I can kill. Now one of the defects with the game is something I don't agree with is that XP isn't shared. It's entirely based on who gets the killing blow and Yang being one of the quickest characters because she has literally no reach. She's using shotgun gauntlets as her weapon. She has no reach. She has to physically punch everything. But because she's one of the fastest characters, if I can get into melee, I can pretty much kill swipe everything. As you can see from here, I can even take on multiple enemies, no issue. Ruby is a very focused character. Picks on one enemy at a time. I can wade into a group of enemies and be perfectly fine. So long as I know that I have allies coming, I'm not even going to, like, ow. I do all that bragging and get pummeled. Oh, shit. I'm leveling up. Do you mind? Apparently you do. And that is where Yang as a character specifically like works, if you want to know and play the game yourself. Um, Yang works when she's in the middle of a bunch of enemies just pounding away everything in her path. That is the problem. You saw me do all the damage, but because I didn't deliver the killing blow, no XP. I have a problem with that. I think the XP should be distributed based on the damage you dealt. Not based on killing blow. Also, the frames glitching out on me occasionally is annoying me quite a bit. Uh, I think it's because I'm recording. It does have a little bit of a conflict with OBS. I'm not even going to lie about that one. Um, but, I mean, it's fun at least. Oh, now we got a bunch of these. Oh, that hurt. Killing Blow gets the, gets the 35 XP, which is a lot. OBS is still working. Cool. Yeah, I think it's because I'm using OBS that I'm getting a little bit of latency here. I'm going to cut the encoder down a little bit. And because of my... The fact I'm playing with other people. And you will get lag sometimes. And it just lags out. There's nothing you can do about it. And it annoys me a little bit, but... I mean, we experience lag in all online games. We all get pissed off at lag. Ow. 
Okay, I can take another two. I'm sorry I brought them all to you! You can die. Apparently that is how it's done according to Yang. I'm not even going to argue. Also apparently I'm not the only one who knows where all the secrets are so I'm going to let the other person grab them without even arguing. Uh, artifact XP is split but the individual little orb things are not. And I have, again, I have a problem with that. You're supposed to work together as a team. Why are we competing for experience points? That doesn't make any sense. It annoys me, if anything, that we have to compete for experience points. Um, or at the very least, that it's based upon who delivers killing blows. Um, that is still something that bothers me. And it's going to bother me for a while. And there's no questions about it. It's going to just... It's going to annoy me. Significantly. No matter how much I play this game, that XP is based on killing blow rather than teamwork. Unless you do a team attack, and team attacks require coordination. Coordination that, you know, doing an online game without voice comms is really hard. Take care of you. Get rid of you. Sweet, wave MVP. Now see, that I can agree with. If you're the wave MVP, you get a bonus. But I can't agree with not sharing XP on enemies that everyone delivered damage to. It just seems like, you know, then you're not going to help each other as much because it's going to be a waste of effort. You're going to let each other solo. Or you're going to be, like, considered kill-stealing. And I get that, you know, we refer to it as kill-securing. But it's a team-based game. We shouldn't have to be having to compete for experience. And we shouldn't be having to compete for, you know, progress. And they're probably both looking at me like, I thought Ruby was the best character with this super power attack. And I'm just mowing through these things. Good time to waste my, uh, my quake attack right there. Just instantly pop the heavier enemy. Uh, other things I have an issue with is that we only have one real special attack now. All the rest of them are just straight up based on... Um, how should I put this? All the rest of our special attacks are just based on combo moves now. I wish we had back to the original, a little bit more towards the original combat system where we had the multiple special attack options. I'll counter that. And get the kill. We gotta hack our way through 18 of these things. And of course, you know, they're gonna turn around. Oh, we did it. We did a team attack. Sweet. So we finally did one. Get rid of you. Easy kill. Easy kill. Eat the shotgun gauntlet. By the way, apparently that is her using the shotgun gauntlet to propel herself through the air. Yeah, a little bit unrealistic there in terms of recoil because, you know, third law of motion equal an opposite reaction. But yeah, that is the entire second level that's available right now. Not that it matters because as soon as 
this is over. Uh, as soon as I log out here, I'm gonna not have the uh, the experience. I'm gonna have to start over. So that's it. So what do you guys think of Ruby? How's it coming along to you? I mean, it's been a while to me. I mean, it's been a long time. Here's the, by the way, here's the first video I ever did of this. Go have a look. Um, but it's been a long time to me since, you know, this game has had a real update. And that kind of bothers me. I know why it's been a while. It's because the voice actors are currently doing voice acting for the next season. And they're constantly having to go back and forth. And because the development team is small. When I say the development team is small, I'm talking like there's like six people who work on this team, I think. I think. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight people total who work on this team, and two of them are producers. Yeah. So, there's not a lot for them to be able to do. Only about four people... Or four or five people are actually doing the full coding for this and it's coming along it's just coming along a lot slower than I wish it would personally um, but it has a lot of potential and since the game has a unique storyline you're not just playing through the show plus with the loaning of the I mean there's just a lot of integration between the game and the show and there's a lot of possibility for expansion later plus it's relatively cheap I've had a good time with it. Um, it turns out I've only put four hours into the game so far. And I've been waiting for the combat revision to be finalized before I did this additional introspection on the community. But what do you guys think of it? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like, by the way, if you did find this entertaining and have a good time. If you'd like to see more stuff by me, if you are, you can subscribe. There's a big red button. I promise. Press it like DD. Ooh, what does this button do? You'll love it. And uh, you can support the channel through Patreon or by clicking on the ad at the end of the video. In the meantime, from my house to yours, this is Fiora signing out for right now. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. I want to scream that every time I do that move. Get back. Eat it. Oh, come here. No, we're going to beat you up. Now, one problem I do have with the game right now, um, well, there's two problems. One, it's in early access. So, it's not finished. Um, it's far from finished. There's supposed to be six campaigns for a total of 24 levels.